Hi, I'm Eric Linask. I'm here at Supercom in Chicago, and I'm talking with Jim Novell from Sorrento Networks. Jim, thank you for joining me. Thank you. Um, really quickly, let's start off. Tell me uh, about who Sorrento Networks is. Sorrento is a Metro WDM equipment provider. We provide customers around the world, primarily carriers, but also deal with some of the enterprise space. Been doing this business for quite some time, even though we've gone through various iterations. A lot of people in the world probably have Sorrento gear running their networks. Good. Um, so what are some of the trends that uh, you've seen here in the, in the uh, first couple of days of the show? Especially wrapped around the show, obviously the biggest question is how do you get more bandwidth out to customer base? Anywhere from gigabit Ethernet delivery to just wavelength services. And one of the main items is a lot of data center connectivity. So this is one of the driving trends of the world due to the applications of Facebook, YouTube, you know, God bless the iPhone, get out to the world. These type of things are really driving data center growth exponentially. So what are some, uh, with, with that growth, what are some of the challenges that the data centers are facing? Now when people start dealing with data centers, the connectivity services that they used to have maybe a couple of years ago no longer fit. They're now starting to require bigger pipes, bigger connectivity, such as 8 gig fiber channel connectivity solutions. Sorrento has just announced its new solution to add into the space. It's a space we're very familiar with, we're very good with the fiber channel, and we're now starting to receive a lot of interest wrapped around this 8 gig solution. Uh, and are those solution, is that solution uh, something that's available now? What kind of feedback have you uh, received? The initial feedback we received from the customer base is very positive. Uh, since Fiber Channel is one of our main core attributes that we offer to our customer base, they feel very confident with our 8-gig solution going out to the world. As a matter of fact, we're already being spec'd in to a handful of solutions that we're hopefully going to be closing for Q4. What's the benefit versus uh, some uh, alternative solutions? The biggest uh, alternative that you have out there is not to do 8 gig, but maybe a 4 gig or a 2 gig, a slower speed. Now with these data centers becoming so large, so many servers, interfaces, that means basically air conditioning, power, real estate. Now that you can go to bigger bandwidth speeds, you can collapse down your data center footprint. And that's a massive amount of OPEX and CAPEX spend that carriers can now start to save. And is that, is that something that, uh, that they're actually doing, is, is, is reducing their footprint, um, or are they just uh, hanging on to that additional uh, storage and server space for, uh, for future gro growth? Normally, when people are, especially in the telecom sector, would think, I'm just going to leave this in place, try to milk it out for as long as we can. But in the data center world, because of the growth and the need for data center expansions, people are starting to realize they can collapse these things down and basically save a ton of money by just removing a lot of the extraordinary multiple interfaces and wrapping up to an eight gig. It's a true dollar savings and it's massive. Well, I guess at the end of the day, regardless of uh, what products you're developing, that's what people are looking for is, is uh, cost efficiencies as well as uh, service quality. Very much so. Uh, anytime you can offer somebody a return on investment of true dollars, not just some sort of fictional model, you're very receptive. What's your, uh, what is your target customer? Our target customer base out there is a carrier class customer, somebody who has their own infrastructure or their own uh, ability to offer infrastructure. In the data center world, it might be somebody who's actually offering this as a service out to their customer base. Or otherwise, you're dealing with cable companies, ILX or uh, IOCs, if you will. Uh, in, in North America or globally? We actually uh, provide around the world. Uh, we do a lot of work within North America and in EMEA and also have deployments in uh, Asia and also South Pacific. Great. How does, uh, obviously it's been a really uh, big trend towards virtualization, how, how does that uh, impact what you're doing and the work that you're doing with data centers? Well, number one, anytime people bring up virtualization or generically cloud computing, sure. Uh, when people start talking that way, data center growth is going to go exponentially. Uh, anytime you could collapse down your application base into a central point, you need to get it out to the customers. Um, the cost savings you're going to receive bringing things into a central point is tremendous. And to tell you the truth, even though it's great for us, the bandwidth or the hooks that you go out to the far ends mm -hmm. is negligible, but that's great for us anyway. Anything uh, on the horizon that, uh, that we can expect to see from Sorrento that you can talk about? One of the things that Sorrento we're starting to look at is now that these, again, bandwidth requirements are starting to increase, we're seeing a lot more of our customer base asking us to help them migrate off of their traditional older Sonnet or SDH infrastructure 
and roll it into our WDM. You know, a few years ago, everybody thought OC 192s was a tremendous amount of bandwidth. That's essentially nothing now. You know, equipment like ours or other optical vendors, you're going to see 80 channels of that being very common. So you're going to see a lot more coming from us to allow you to start rolling on these older legacy systems onto a much more newer platform like our WDM system. Well, if, if nothing else, uh, ours is certainly a very, very rapidly changing and evolving industry. We've been talking here at Supercom with Sorrento Networks' Jim Novell. Jim, thanks a lot for joining us. Thank you very much.